$1,300,000 as a yearling. And that, believe it or not, was a bargain, because in today's terms, he must be worth 10 times as much as that. That little horse there is worth over $10 million, and that's for certain. And uh, they're off. And quickly, it's Cordero sending great communicator right to the front. Sir Harry Lewis now trying to stick with him early. Bent Pasha showing good speed early, and Theatrical was out fast now. He's been placed off the lead on the outside fourth. Swink has come away running fifth at the rail. Storm on the loose is alongside him. Rivlia is now racing seventh in between horses. Vilzak on the outside. Alay Malord is nestled down on the rail. Following him, it is Village Star now, who's running in the ninth position. And next in line, Trempolino, the arc winner. He's at least 15 lengths off the pace. Louis Legrand is far back, along with the two trailers, Autumn Glitter, and alongside that one, it's Circus Prince. So they pass us for the first time. There's a mile left. And Cordero trying to nurse the speed of Great Communicator. The half went in 47-1. and one. Great Communicator is out there winging as the field moves into the second turn. The Irish Derby winner, Sir Harry Lewis, is tucked along the inside, saving ground in second. Bint Pasha is third. Theatrical is still seven lengths off the lead as they round the second turn, and he's beginning to move steadily now. And Swink to his inside is running in fifth position. Vilzak on the outside, six. Storm on the loose, in hand, racing in seventh. Louis Legrand is moving steadily on the outside, and Trempolino is asked for run from Pat Ettery now, and there goes Trempolino. And quickly they're gaining on the front, running great communicator. Theatrical makes his move on the outside. Outside, Sir Harry Lewis toward the rail. Bent Pasha, four of them across the track. And here comes Trempolino to join the fray on the outside. They are a half a mile out. Sir Harry Lewis by ahead. Theatrical full out and moving right with him. Great communicator trying to stay with them in third. And they are tracked by Trempolino in fourth position. Louis Legrand has moved up in the pack. He's fifth on the outside. Then toward the rail, it's Alain Malord now. He's looking for racing room and comes out for it. Vilsack is just five lengths off the lead. And Theatrical has power to the front. Now as the field turns for home, the arc winner taking aim on the outside. Trempolino set down for the drive. Trempolino taking the lead. A furlong from the wire. But Theatrical has game and he's coming right back. The American, the European. And it is Theatrical in front. Trempolino driving hard. Full out as he turned to get him. And here is the wire. And Theatrical has won it. Absolutely. Soviet star, it's classic time. The French 2000 guineas was to be his toughest assignment to date, but taking the lead inside the final furlong, he accomplishes his task with a minimum of fuss, and neither noble minstrel nor glory forever can answer his final burst. Milieu de la descente de la grande piste avec euh, Noble Minstrel bien qu'elle ait la corde, qu'elle avantage sur Bayram d'une demi-longueur. Glenicke est en troisième position. Euh, derrière se trouve Lord Alic qui lui est accompagné de Grand Schlem. King's College est en sixième position, qu'elle ait la corde. Malaspina tout à fin de voir. Soviet Star tout à fin à l'extérieur. Rich Charlie qui est côté corde. Glory Forever pour Malastan ferme la marche avec Saint Andrew. À la sortie de la fausse ligne droite, Noble Minstrel qui a l'avantage. Glenicke est en seconde position, accompagné de Bayram. Lord Alic vient en troisième position position tout à fin de bord. Derrière lui se trouve Air de France qui est rétrogradé. King's College est en cinquième position. Malaspina commence à venir. Soviet Star qui est juste derrière. Footing Ting est au centre. Ils arrivent maintenant à la hauteur du parc de pavillon avec Noble Minstrel qui a très nettement l'avantage. Soviet Star très fort à l'extérieur. Lord Dalik qui résiste bien. Malaspina qui vient au centre. À la distance, Soviet Star vient d'attaquer Noble Minstrel qui est tous les deux suivis de Malaspina, suivi du même de Glory Forever à 150 mètres du poteau. Soviet Star vient de prendre l'avantage sur Nobel Minstrel à 20 mètres du poteau. Soviet Star qui a l'avantage sur Nobel Minstrel, suivi de Glory Forever devant Malaspina. Warm welcome, uh, I Love Lucy, Miami Blues, Etta's Pet not far behind the leaders, and Sunley Saint on the near side, but Sonic Lady with the advantage, 
as they run down towards the three furlong poles. Sonic Lady from Warm Welcome, Sea Power, Sunly Saint on the near side, Etta's Pet just in behind uh, Sea Power, coming down to the two furlong poles, Sonic Lady from Sea Power, Warm Welcome, then Etta's Pet, then on the near side is Mill Racer, but as they race into the closing stages, it's Sonic Lady from Warm Welcome, then C Power on the far side, Etta's Pet on the near side, and Sonic Lady going right away from them over on the far side. Sonic Lady from Warm Welcome and C Power and Mill Racer. And as they come to the line, Sonic Lady wins it very easily indeed. Warm Welcome is second. Many, many congratulations. Thank you very much. And yet at one stage from us watching here in the grandstand, three furlongs out, you looked in big trouble. Yes, because every time I wanted to come out, there was a horse coming and, and putting me in. You know, I had a wall of horses in front of me. and. When I came out finally, uh, Pat, Pat's chili hanged a little bit, and I had to check then, and I thought maybe I wouldn't have enough time to get balance again and, yeah. and, and do it, you know. Let's have a look at that particular point. That happened about two and a half furlongs out, and here you are. You are now behind a wall of horses. I'm on a milligram the right. there, and yeah. I wanted to come out, and then Pat's coming on and pushing me in again. And at this stage, you know, interval now and, is going And you right. see now I'm going out and Pat is coming out a little bit. And you managed to get a balance again. Yeah, and then she came, she came with tremendous turn of foot. I mean, she's a... That is incredible, the finishing speed. And look at speed. that, winning easy. Because the other two, second and third, were not stopping at all. No, no, they weren't. It was a good, good run race. I mean, it was a lot of speed and... Uh, I think she's something special, really. Relative 11 to Silver Supreme at 15 to 2, Peter. Seven furlongs up the straight for 30,000, this one. The Jersey Sticks under orders and they're away. And over towards the left, Russian Royal is one of the first to show. Run on showing very good speed in the center. Towards the right is Vague Dancer. And as they end pass through the first uh, furlong just three is right up there with the lead just three run on aliocha and on the right over on the far side russian royal and towards the near side silka supreme leads cottenham from vague dancer on the near side silka supreme the leader from cottenham and vague dancer on the far side just three russian royal right up with them distant relative and aliocha Zal Zal tucked in behind them towards the far side, tucked in behind Russian Royal, a stable companion in fact. Silka Supreme towards the right now from Russian Royal. Zal Zal the favourite is cantering over on the far side at the moment. Tatsfield and Pat Edery trying to get into the argument, two over on the far side, but on the near side it's Silka Supreme with Cottenham and on the far side Zal Zal has now hit the front. Zal Zal the favourite has gone to the front from Russian Royal. Distant relative still in contention but Zal Zal going away from them now as they race into the closing stages. Zal Zal strides away from this field and win in very impressive style as they come to the line. Zal Zal wins it from Russian Royal and distant relative and Cottenham four. Cottenham could in fact be in a photo for, with distant relative for third place, but I don't think he's made it. I think he's fourth all right. Zal Zal has won it from Russian Royal. Kick away, Stravinsky gets a good break. A little bit slow to go, Rosselli. Flanders on the extreme left is up with a fast pace. St. Marine dashing blue, proud native Almaty out wide. Also in night flight, Lock Angel's there as well. And Lock Angel and Tipsy Creek come to head off the field. At this stage, Stravinsky is uh, three or four lengths down off a very fast pace set by St. Marine that blitz and goes a one and a half in front of the grey night flight. Lock Angel Stravinsky is in the firing line getting momentum now and coming forward. Then behind those Tipsy Creek, Flanders behind that, followed by Averti. Rambling Bear dashing blue is covered up. Rambling Bear taken back there, but it's St. Marine who had a faller and a faller at the rear of the field uh, was Rambling Bear. They come inside the final furlong and as they do so, Stravinsky coming through now. Uh, Stravinsky in the lead as they pass the furlong pole, but St. Marine is trying to come back. But now, watch the jump and go and it's Stravinsky by one by two up towards the line and Stravinsky wins the Pacific Homes Dunthorpe St. Marine second. Excellent. Prince Khalid Abdallah. Khalid how much does it mean to you to win the Oaks? Well it, it means a lot. I nearly won all the classics except the Oaks so it means a lot. Now what did you think of that? She had to work hard. That's, that's true mm. but she didn't have a smooth way so that's why she had to, to struggle to get it. 
She's got a big heart, this filly. Yeah, she's very good. I mean, she's got class, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. It was lovely. I'm very lucky to have her. We were watching you, and Natalie and you were getting very excited in the closing stages. The it's hard. Hang on. The race four is continuing. However, the stewards are now satisfied. The placings will not be altered. So you're confirmed as the winner. The 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 official what is it, the fifth yeah. time now in 13 years? Yeah. Makes me feel quite old. Well, the horses are still running as fast as ever. How does she compare? Yeah, she's very good. I mean, I hate comparing the good ones I'd be lucky enough to have, but she's a very, very good filly, a very high-class filly. What was it like for you watching the last two furlongs? Because you had to really fight. Well, we really wanted to win this race, because Prince hasn't won this race, and it's very important, so we put everything we got into it. Maybe he ran his best two fillies, and um, we managed to do it. And you ran the Ashmack, and she ran a cracking race as well. She ran very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where does she go now? I mean, this is obviously the, the ambition, but what happens now? I tell you, I, I never thought we end today, so I don't know. You better ask me. So you didn't think you'd be here today, but you're here to witness it. And how are, you've got one more classic to go, haven't you? The 1,000? Yes, we think the 1,000. So that is the next, yes? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know when, but we'll work hard to get there. And things are going well for you. Your second classic in what, just over a month? It's lovely. Yes. Very pleased. It's um, nice to have such lovely fillies. Yeah. And what about the team? Gordon Playford, who looks after the horse? Well, I think, yeah, well done, everybody. Yeah, well done, Warren Place, for looking after so well. And um, well done, Prince, for breeding her and sending to me. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. The last one coming forward, College Chapel, Esther Piggott. That's it, they're ready. Stand by for a start, racing. Jumped away in a good line too on the left of picture. Hamas in to stride quickly. Lock Song on the left with a sheepskin nose band is going to lead though. In behind them in the yellow is Sharp Prod and up there as well. Wolfhound dropping in behind is Sharp Prod in the uh, royal colours. Over on the right of picture is Cat Rail and College Chapel trails the field as they go through the first furlong and a half. Lock Song it is who leads clearly from Hamas on the near side. They're going like the wind as they pass the half mile in third placing. Next is uh, Pips Pride. Further back in the field, Wolfhound scrubbed up now back in the field cat rail from sharp prod and uh, still last of all is college chapel as they run inside the three furlong marker now and it's lock song up in the lead being tackled by hamas on the right of picture up there as well pips pride followed then by wolfhound behind them from cat rail sharp prod and college chapel has it all to do a furlong and a half left to go it's lock song still holding on on the far side though challenging now as wolfhound in behind them hamas has dropped away further back then is cat rail running a big race followed then by college chapel who can't win 50 yards left to go though it's wolfhound who powers into the lead on the near side and wolfhound coming away from michael rowitz is going to win the big one in second placing is cat Rowler, sheikh mohammed one two third is lock song followed by college chapel further back is pips pride from sharp rod avec le 5, Buzzy Fly qui code corps et contrôle les opérations. Elicio profitant également de sa place, code corps Kazakh Jaune se rapproche et bien presque maintenant à la hauteur de Predacio qui vient tout à fait à l'extérieur, qui est suivi lui-même par Gazelle Royal qui se place quatrième ou cinquième plutôt côté corde. Un peu le ton très bien groupé alors qu'on ne passe derrière le petit bois avec Buzzy Fly le 5, code corps qui ralentit avec Elicio galopant tout à fait à l'extérieur de même que Swain, Kazakh Bleu et Toc Bleu maintenant troisième juste devant le 6, Predacio, Kazakh Bleu et Toc Blanche et bien devant Posse de Nas tandis que Gazelle Royal 5 ou 6e près cette peintre célèbre qui est pointé 8e près des cordes avec Oscar Schindler et Pilsuski avec Yokohama le cri galopant quant à lui tout à fait à l'extérieur et précède encore lui-même Quid Maud qui est au centre du peloton Nothing Lake Caden qui vient ensuite avec Bedilia avec Borgia qui fait partie des derniers et qui lui est suivi également par Stewart avec le destin dernier on est dans la descente de la grande piste et Mela tranquillement est venu s'installer à la corde présente de bonne longueur d'avance devant Buzzy Fly qui lui est talonné par l'écurie Godolphin composé de près d'appui avec Swen qui sont maintenant en qui ont le leader en point de mire et qui viennent juste devant Posidon à cette Kazakh Orange Top Violette qui maintenant quatrième Yokohama le gris se rapproche très fort à l'extérieur poursuivi par Nothing Lake Kaden avec Queen Maud ainsi que Bill Dusky avec peintre célèbre qui est dixième côté corde qui a perdu quelques rangs le destin par contre s'y rapprochait quelque peu on est dans le bas de la descente abordant un peu de temps la fausse ligne droite avec 
Calicio toujours qui a l'avantage, mais qui ralentit avant de redémarrer de plus belle, qui précède Swain en dehors. À côté de Swain, c'est le 5, Busy Fight qui précède encore Yokohama, le premier qui passe à l'attaque avec toujours le 6, Predapio côté corde, ainsi que Posidonas avec que maintenant Pizdulski, Nothing Lake, Kalen, tandis que toujours peintre célèbre est à la corde. On aborde maintenant la ligne d'arrivée, toujours sous la conduite d'Elicio Codé Corde qui est à la lutte avec Swain qui se rapproche à l'extérieur aux prises avec My Mac maintenant tente de devenir de même que Busy Fly. Mais peintre célèbre côté corde avec maintenant le 6, c'est-à-dire Predapio se rapproche très fort. Il reste maintenant 400 mètres à parcourir avec très fort à l'extérieur. Peintre célèbre qui se rapproche maintenant, qui vient de prendre l'avantage sur Elicio. Peintre célèbre maintenant qui ne forcera pas son talent. Peintre célèbre, le joli Alzan l'emporte avec toute l'heure et la manière. Deuxième pile du ski le 9, probablement troisième l'allemande Borgia, c'est-à-dire le... Not only is he the father of Sonic Lady and Soviet Star, he's also sire of the world champion Myla Miesk and Theatrical, whose defeat of the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe winner Trempolino in the Breeders' Cup turf highlighted him as the best mile and a half horse on grass on either side of the Atlantic, with the exception of reference point. Nureyev's 19 yearlings sold at the Keeneland July sale average $585,000. Unfortunately, Nureyev broke his right hock in an accident in a field in Kentucky in May 1987. After spending months in plaster, he's now recovered, and it's hoped he'll be covering his book of mares at the Walmack International Farm sometime during a... Tremendously talented Nureyev, who was so unlucky to be disqualified in the 2000 guineas, also has a growing band of sons at stud, including Soviet Star, Theatrical and Zilzal. He's also responsible for those outstanding fillies, Miesk and Sonic Lady.